Vico after school with a big announcement. Very exciting news. I have wonderful news. Vico now has an app. We'll be doing our live lessons on the Vico app. You just have to download, free download, the Vico app. V-E-E-K-O, Vico app. You can download the app in the App Store on your phone or your iPad. Be able to interact more. There'll be ways to share your work and things that you do. You will be one of the first people on the app. Just go and download it. Download the Vico app and I will see you there. Hey, hello. Welcome. I'm Astra. Astra from Vico. Uh, after School with Vico. Thanks so much if you're joining me again for another, another drawing session. The subject today, we're drawing wild, wonderful whales. So using the ghost method, uh, you can use a pastel or the side of a soft pencil. And what I'll do is I'm going to uh, very lightly just kind of fill in the shape of the whale. Yeah, this is almost too sharp. <laughs> it's going to wear down though. So I'm, I'm using the side and it's, uh, it's almost like I'm coloring in without any lines, but I'm doing it kind of, I mean, I'll, I'll press harder also so you can see. Yeah, because I know that uh, my lighting can really dr drown out, yeah, drown out my uh, pencil. So let's see. Oh, this one does have a fin on its back. Notice it's got a little fin back there. Okay, so here's, I'm, I'm ghosting it and I'm making like, it's like a shadow. And it's, it's helping me see my proportions. Sometimes you have to squint and, and, and notice, yeah, like, how, see, I almost feel like now it should be longer, right? Like if the fin is here, then maybe the body should be longer. Sometimes, you know, this helps you see things a little better. I'll do the tip of its lip here, I guess, right? How about that? I just see the end of it. I see that its mouth is going to go in. So I'll, I'll wait on that, though. I want to get more of the outline done first, okay? What else do we see? I see that it goes down like this. Yeah, they don't have teeth in there. They have this like a filtration system uh, called bal baleen. Yeah, the baby whale's on top of another, right. Yeah, you know what happens sometimes when the baby whale is born? The mom will, will push it toward the surface so it can breathe for the first time because their, yeah, their nose is located on the very top of their head, the blowhole. Uh-huh. So, yeah, right now I'm focusing on the baby. I can try to get the mom in after. Uh, let's see. How about this? Let's go going this way. It's pretty bumpy, too. So if you want to include some little bumps. It's got little bumps on the top. Okay, I'm following my little ghost that I made. That's pretty helpful as well. So, yeah, the blowhole will be in there someplace. And then... Okay, I see the back's going to curve. It's going to do that. It's a very long curve, actually. Wow, I'm just noticing how long that is. But now I want to also get the other side of the mouth. So let's do that. It goes out like this lip almost. Yeah, right? Aren't they different? They're so different from like animals that are on land now. They really change. They're... They're, they're a great example of um, how things can change over time. All right, they have a, it has a bump on its chin, and then it looks like it goes in, right? Do you see that too? Yeah, try to see as best you can. I see like some little bumps there, and then it's going to go this way, okay? Yeah, little bumps. This shows, again, I know, I talk about texture. Yeah, water maybe, but not big stuff. Oh, yeah, I wonder, right? Like, like, what's the largest thing a whale could swallow? I wonder. I wonder if they can eat, like, squid and things like that. I wonder. 
But I know krill. Yeah, it's another thing. Is krill? They eat. Uh, yeah, some of the whales eat krill. So it's K R I L L. That's a big food source for the whales. They look like here. Look, they look like little little shrimp. <laughs> it's like a funny little my little shrimp sketch. Yeah, they're like teeny tiny little shrimp. They're super small. So they eat. They, yeah, they eat them by the thousands. They just yeah exactly. Yeah, so they want yeah they want to keep they want to keep that stuff in their mouth and then they can swallow it. More bumps on their lip. Looks like there's some bumps over here. And oh, I see those really cool grooves, right? That's a groovy whale. So let's make some more of these grooves. See that? Yeah. I wonder if that would help them swim better. It's my like maybe it just helps them get through the water. It's kind of a mini shrimp. <laughs> yeah, I I mean I would imagine that all sorts of things would eat those krill. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, not for us though. I think the krill for us wouldn't work out that well. <laughs> yeah, so the whales the whales can keep the krill. All right, I'm getting some more of the grooves on its uh neck and chest here. Yep. Yeah, thanks again. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, if I've got new viewers, welcome again. I'm Astra and I'm I'm drawing here. Uh we I'm one of the art art teachers here at Vico. You got to check out the other classes here. We've got another wonderful fine arts class. We've got language, we've got science, we've got dance and and music, instruments and singing. So, yeah, become a subscriber if you haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ravina Bonse. I like that. The calf the calf's wide awake. Yeah, exactly. The calf was just born. He's like, whoa. And the mom's like, yeah, exactly. I'm tired. Yeah, I mean I can imagine that they're going through a lot. Can you imagine having a baby whale? <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean they I mean they are underwater, so it's it's different, you know, different physics for them than it is for people and, and creatures on land, but still, they're still it's a huge baby. Yeah, it's incredible. All right, awesome. Now, yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with this sketch. How about for uh, the the color and everything? That is a really good practice. So, I'm getting some more of that. And maybe um, the tail might have some white on it. So maybe I'll leave some parts of the tail white. Maybe the front of its fin has some white and some gray here. I'll make some shadows where the grooves are. Shadow, shadow, maybe a little shadow on the belly like that. Yeah, so come to think of it. Now, why would there... Why would their coloring be this way? There's a reason for that. Okay, so think of it this way now. Uh, they're, if they're hunting for, you know, small fish or, or krill or anything, um, if they're, like, say they're going above them, the white of their belly against the surface of the water, like, so looking up, like you're, you're deep down underwater and you're looking up, it's like the white of their belly helps camouflage them. And then the darkness of their back also helps camouflage them because uh, something that's looking down into the water, not that, not that they have that many predators besides people. Um, yeah, that would help them be seen, uh, not be seen rather, because yeah, they would blend into the water more. All right, now this marker is... Uh, Marker's hanging in there. I think maybe what I'll do is this side's going to be this blue, and I think I'll switch to another blue on this side. Sometimes you got to make moves like that, right? Wow, on the <laughs> on my screen it is super blue. That is pretty cool. Okay, uh, I shall. Maybe I'll start blending it over here. Let's see. I'll blend it over here. See, oh, it's fading. 
another another method here to help with the blending I'll make some wavy lines <laughs> let's do that and then I can have the other color like in there that way it won't be such a stark difference between like this blue and then the other blue it look like that they're linked together okay yeah so if you're if one color is giving up on you see like like mine is time to switch let's switch it up what do I have here let's see oh regular blue let's try it out on my back on my vocabulary paper yep baleen in their mouth oh, that's not that different actually the regular blue krill all right here we go yeah all right it's blending pretty well so here's the surface of the water surface of the water a little more to the surface yeah water is incredible the oceans are incredible <laughs> right just that they're so vast and they're full of so much mystery right have you heard of like the the deep sea where there's there's some pretty scary looking fish down there there's a whale called the uh the sperm whale that's the one that's based on um uh, yeah moby dick moby dick is the story of the great white whale and there was a big whale hunt in the book yeah so that so they're after moby dick and yeah, Moby Dick is a sperm whale, and they have a distinctive, um, distinctive shape. They got this really big head, and they just—they're known to dive really deep. And there's evidence of them getting into fights with like giant squid. Like there'll be markings on the whales, like like scars, indicating that they they got into something with uh, something with tentacles shadows we're wrapping up everybody this is gonna be it I think <laughs> I put so much marker on my paper it's curling up see because uh, the the yeah, the moisture in the marker is uh, transferring to the paper and sometimes that can make it curl up so I'm trying to think of a trick to stop that yeah you can take your paper and sort of like uh, bend it over a table and, and rub it back and forth. That's a way to get, yeah, I'm like, see, I don't know if you can tell, I'm, 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 I'm moving it over the surface of the uh, corner here, the edge of the table. And yeah, that can help uncurl it. It's like you have to curl it in the opposite direction. Yeah, but be careful though. You don't want to wreck it. Oh my goodness. What a, what a whale. That's a whale of a drawing, I would say. I, yeah, right. We needed a corny whale joke. <laughs> Okay, everybody. Yep. All right. Well, okay. So just like that, it's, uh, I think it's about time for me to, uh, yeah, to wrap this up. Okay. Yeah. Artists, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I'm, so I'm Astra and I'm on here uh, every Tuesday, 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. So uh, that's Eastern Standard Time. And then Thursdays, 6 p.m., 8 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. And Saturday, like today, uh, usually 5 p.m. I did start a little late, so I apologize. But 5 p.m. Saturdays is my usual time. Okay, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's a wrap, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much. Don't forget to download the Vico app available on the Google Play Store and App Store. Click below!